welcome all in my previous video i have shown you that how you can create a executable jar and also i have shown you that how you can run it using a command prompt today i am going to tell you that without opening the command prompt how you can run it so in that case you have to create a batch file let's see how we can do it so for that purpose you have already seen that in my previous video I've shown you this thing. This is my assignment project in this side, and this is the name of my class, and this is the code here. And we can run it from the we can run it from the console here. Like you can run it, run as uh, run as Java application, and here you can give the number seven, and here give the number eight, and you can enter. It is running fine. Now what has happened? If you want to run this uh, program and you want to share your this program to your client, you can make a executable jar. How you can make it? that I've shown you in the previous video that how you can make it. So you have seen in my previous video that I have created, exported, I've created my executable jar or exported in my this location. Now for running this jar, I told you what is the requirement is that what is the requirement? You have to open a command prompt. You know that in my previous video I have shown you, I'm just making a recap on that. You have to open a command prompt. Now in the command prompt, first of all, you have to give the location CD and you have to give the location. You have to change the location. Let me write D. Right. So this is my location. Now, how you can run the program here? Java hyphen jar and the name of your, you can say file. And let me run it. Now you can see it is asking for input six, seven, and then it is giving out. So here you can see what is happening. If you are sharing this file, executable jar file, Pradeep program dot jar, the client or the person who want to run this program, he has to open a command prompt. And then in the command prompt, he have to run this command. Now I will give you the option that if client don't want to open any uh, command prompt, or you want to say that you, you can give, you can simply give him a, a file so that he can make a double click on that file. And automatically this program is run. So how it is possible, I'm going to show you simply what I have to do. You can open a simply, you can open a, a file here. I'm just creating a new file here in new file. You have to create a file here and in simple file, you can use the notepad for that. Okay. You can just open a notepad or edit plus and here you have to write a command Java, same command. You have to write Java hyphen jar and the name of your class. Let me do one thing. What was the name of your uh, executable jar? Let me copy from here. That will be easy for me. This one. And here you have given this one. Java hyphen jar Pradeep program dot jar and press a enter. Okay. And after pressing enter, you can write P A U S C. Why you are writing pause so that when this program, when you make a double click on your executable jar, your screen will be still open so that you can see really the program is running or not. So now the important thing is that you have to save this file file save as in this case, the important thing is that first of all, go to the same location where you have created or exported your executable jar d pradeep programs okay this is the location of your executable jar okay now let me uh, here click all files when you click on all files you can see this is your file here now in save as you have to give the file name for your executable jar which you are creating which you have just created so i'm giving the name pradeep dot batch you can give any name but the important thing is that the file you are saving the extension should be dot BAT and that will be saved at same location. Let me click on save. Now go to your go to your folder. Now you can see this was ex, uh, this is your executable jar and I've created this batch file. What is the benefit is that when you are going to share your assignment to your company or client, whoever give whoever asked you for your assignment, you will send these two files, both the files, and he will download both the files and he will simply he will simply double click on this batch file to run the program. He don't need to open a command prompt. Let me show you. I will make a double click. So, and it will open a command prompt automatically and will run the program. So that's why it is asking for a input number six. And then you are writing seven and it is giving the sum 30. So this is the way you can create a executable jar file as well as you can create a batch file so that it will make a double click on that and then simply run it. I hope you like the video. If you like my content, you can subscribe to my channel for these type or more important videos. Thank you.